let's do some questions for accounting for overheads so this is uh, question number 8.1 these questions have been taken from your BPP practice kit I'll give you two minutes to read the question and then I will start then I will read one time and we'll start doing again okay so now what you should do actually the idea is that before you start reading the question you should read the requirement because when you read the requirement you exactly understand that what information you need and what you are looking for uh, I mean there are much sometimes the question is long there is a lot of information which is irrelevant so when you do not read the requirement you start reading everything and everything is not needed so let's first read the requirement it said that the overhead cost of the canteen is to be reapportioned to the production cost centers on the basis of the number of employees in each production cost center. After the reapportionment, what is the total overhead cost of the packing department to the nearest dollar? Now, this is our service cost center. It has cost of 8,400. And this overhead cost, we must apportion it on the basis of these three production cost centers. Now, they don't ask us to calculate the overhead for machinery or finishing. What we need to do that some portion of this 8,400, it will be divided between these three departments. He only asks us to calculate the cost for the packing department. So we also, we, what we need to do, we need to split this service uh, cost centers cost into three one, into the three departments. But actually we are only interested in the packing department. And they said that the cost is um, allocated based on the number of employees in each production cost center. So employees in each production cost center. So let's see how do we do it. We say number of employees in packing department are three because we have to give the cost to the packing department and the number of employees is in the total production departments are 21. You have to take only these three because only the production department employees. So seven plus three, 10, 10 plus eight, 18 and 8 plus 3 is 21. So 21 are the total employees and out of 21 only 3 employees they work in the packing department. So now what you do very simple mathematics 8400 divided by 21 which means the total number of product employees in the production department forget about these four these four you will not add and multiplied by 3 because there are only 3 people in the packing department and your original overhead allocated and a portion so the packing cost the packing department its cost was 8960 and 1200 overhead it comes from the service department so the total overhead which has been given to the packing department is 10160 10160 now please uh, the best idea is always read the question uh, the requirement before once you understand the requirement then reading the question becomes easy and you also do not waste time on reading unnecessary information actually from this requirement we understood that machinery and fishing and finishing we are not interested in so once you read the requirement then you straight go to the question okay now comes uh, the next question so this data is for question number 8.2 and 8.3 so let's first again read the requirement what is the most appropriate production overhead absorption rate for department one so we are interested in department one so these are production overheads these are direct cost direct material direct labor direct labor hours and machine hours and it asks us what is the most appropriation overhead absorption rate for department one so we know that oar is your production overheads twenty seven thousand divided by the budgeted activity so how much of the activity in activity you have labor hours and you have machine hours so you have to make a choice between these two so either i will divide 2700 with 27000 or i have to divide 45000 with 27000 uh, you should remember that the budgeted activity you should take whichever hours are more because here machine hours are more so we will choose machine hours just ignore labor hours so for production department one 
we said department one appears to undertake primary primarily machine based hours because there are more machine hours therefore a machine hour rate would be most appropriate so your answer would be twenty seven thousand dollar divided by forty five thousand hours which means zero point six zero dollar per machine hour your answer would be answer choice d that was very simple then we will use the same data for question number 8.3 it's the same data but this time is 8.3 what is the most appropriate production overhead absorption rate for department 2 so in department 2 my overheads are 18,000 I have to divide them with the activity level and these are two activity levels which are given machine hours and labor hours and like we said before that whichever hours are more you should take that activity level so what we are going to do we will say eighteen thousand dollars divided by twenty five thousand hours which give us zero point seven two dollar per direct labor hour your answer would be option c then next question this data is for question number eight point six and eight point seven and as I said before, we'll start with the requirement. Requirement is what was the fixed production overhead absorbed amount during year four? Absorbed amount. Overhead absorbed. How much we have absorbed? Now remember, overhead absorbed is your OAR multiplied by your actual activity. This was the formula for overhead absorbed. So budgeted absorption rate for fixed overhead. So this is your OAR. OAR is 360,000 because what we have is here that our 360,000 is our fixed production overhead and we divide it with our budgeted activity which was 8,000 units so we calculated dollar 45 per unit this is OAR overhead absorption rate now when you multiply overhead absorption rate with the actual activity how much is the actual activity actual activity is 9,000 units what you produce is 9,000 units. So 9,000 units multiplied by 45, 405,000 is your fixed overhead absorbed. This is your absorbed overheads, which means OAR multiplied with actual activity. So 405,000 answer is answer choice B. This is my absorbed overheads. Absorbed overhead means the overheads which I have added it into the production. Now comes 8.7. It is the same data. It says by how much was the fixed production overhead under or over absorbed. Now you remember that under over absorbed is the difference between your actual overheads and your absorbed overheads. So what you absorbed and what was your actual. Your actual fixed overheads are 432,000. Absorbed overheads you calculated from your previous example 405,000 it means that what you incurred is 432 what you spent was 432 but what you added into production was only 450 405 so there is a difference of $27,000 now is this 27,000 over absorbed or under absorbed because they give us under absorbed 27 and over absorbed 27,000 so what would be the answer choice A or D now because your fixed overhead absorbed are less it means that you under absorbed it means that you under absorbed because your fixed overheads are less than the actual absorbed overheads are less so clearly it means that it is a case of under absorption your answer would be option a under absorbed by twenty seven thousand dollars then comes question eight point one three uh, that's a little bit long question and i want you people to focus more it needs more attention a company manufactures two products X and Y in a factory divided into two production cost centers primary and finishing so you have two departments primary and finishing the following data budget data are available allocated and apportioned fixed overhead costs for primary department 96,000 for finishing 82,500 so these are the two overheads for these departments L direct labor hour minutes direct labor minutes per hour product X 36 minutes product Y 48 minutes in primary and in finishing product X takes 25 minutes and product Y takes 35 minutes and then it says budgeted production is 6,000 units of X and 7,500 units of Y fixed overhead costs are to be absorbed on a direct labor hour basis so whatever are the fixed overheads we have to absorb them on the basis of direct labor hour 
and what is the budgeted fixed overhead cost per unit of product y so we have to calculate the cost of produce the the overhead cost for product y so it means that product y will take some overhead from the primary department from this 96000 some of that will go to product y and then some will go from finishing to product y but before we do that we need to calculate our oar and as the question says that your oar will be based on labor hours so how many labor hours do you have in primary and how many labor hours do you have in finishing so we will find out the total number of labor hours we divide it with 96000 and we will get our oar for this department and oar for the finishing department so how do you calculate your labor hour these are 36 minutes so in primary department product x takes 36 minutes product y takes 48 minutes so you have to convert them into hours and multiply with their production for example let's see like this total direct labor hours in primary department will be 6000 multiplied by 36 divided by 60 to convert it into hours so 6000 is the is the output is the production of product x so product x is 6000 units each unit takes 36 minutes and you divide it with 60 then plus 7500 because 7500 is for product y so product y takes 7500 units and each unit takes 48 minutes so 48 divided by 60 so that you convert this 60 we are dividing to convert it into hours because 6000 multiplied by 36 will be, will be the total number of minutes on product x and 7500 multiplied by 48 would be the total number of minutes on product y we divide them with 60 we get 9600 hours so in primary department you totally work for 9600 hours now we need to calculate how many hours we work in finishing department so in finishing department again x product x is 6000 units you multiply with 25 divided by 60 Product Y is 7,500 units. You multiply with 35 divided by 60. So you get 6,875 hours in the finishing department. So now I know my overhead is 96,000. My hours are 9,600. Here my overheads are 82,500 and hours are 6,875. When we use this information, $96,000 divided by 9,600 hours which we calculated it gives us $10 per hour overhead and here the overhead rate is $12 per hour okay so now we've got our overhead rate for each department now they did not ask us to calculate the overhead for unit X they ask us to calculate the overhead for product Y so what is product Y product Y how much time it takes in the primary department and how much time it takes in the finishing department let me go back and show you again product Y is taking 48 minutes in primary department and it is taking 35 minutes in finishing department so I know how much time is taken here how much time is taken here and I know the overhead rate for for this department and for this department so now it will be like this 48 minutes divided by 60 because we are converting into hours so it takes 48 minutes in the primary department which is the rate for primary department is dollar 10 so you get dollar 8 per unit so it takes eight dollars for the primary department then in finishing department 35 minutes were spent so 35 divided by 60 multiplied by 12 because the rate is 12 so dollar 7 per unit so product y it comes to the primary department and then it goes to the finishing department so we have to add both of these overheads to product y so product y one unit of product y overhead is 15 dollars 8 dollars plus 7 dollars so this is one question it will take a little bit more time in exam uh, it's not possible to do it in two minutes no way but of course there are some short questions you will save time on the short questions and you will invest in such long questions I would suggest you to do this question one time yourself otherwise you will forget maybe you need to do it two times so 8.14 
A company uses an overhead absorption rate of $3.50 per machine hour based on 32,000 budgeted machine hours for the period. So you have a budgeted 32,000 hours and your OAR is 3.50. During the same period, the actual total overhead expenditure amounted to 108,875 and 30,000 machine hours were recorded on actual production. By how much was the total overhead under or over absorbed? Now you should remember that under and over absorbed is the difference between actual overheads and the absorbed overhead. Actual overhead is what we have spent. They have given us this is our actual overhead. And absorbed overhead is actual activity multiplied by the OAR. So let's see our actual overhead is 108875 and our absorbed overhead is actual activity is 30,000 hours multiplied by OAR which was 3.50 105,000 so there is a difference of 3875 and we call it under absorbed why do we call it under absorbed because your absorbed overheads are less than your actual overheads so under absorbed by 3875 your answer is answer choice A now let's move to the next question which is 8.17 actual overheads are 496,980 actual machine hours. So these are the data for actual and then they told you budgeted overheads. Based on the data above and assuming that the budgeted overhead absorption rate was $32 per hour, what was the budgeted number of hours uh, to the nearest hour budgeted to be worked. So they asked us, so this is my budgeted overheads. They asked us that how many were budgeted overheads. Now budgeted overheads they have not given us but they have, but we have to find it. How do we do that? You remember this formula. This is your formula for OAR. Your OAR is equal to budgeted overheads over budgeted hours. So in this question, budgeted overheads they are asking us to calculate. OAR they have given us 32 and budgeted overheads they have given us 475,000 so it's very simple you just write it down like this budgeted hours is equal to budgeted overheads divided by OAR and then you just put the values 475,000 divided by 32 and your answer is 14,850 hours so actually you planned for 14,850 hours your answer is option A now let's do one more question 8.19 a company absorbs overheads on machine hours in a period actual machine hours were 22,435 actual overheads were 496,500 and there was over absorption of 64,375 what was the budgeted overhead absorption rate for machine hour to be nearest one thing I must tell you they say that actual overheads are 496 and there is an over absorption of 64 it means that your absorbed overheads are more than this number because there is over absorption so it means over, over uh, it means that absorbed overheads are more so absorbed overheads would be 496 plus 64 this is something i just told you by the way now let's see the question what was the budgeted overhead absorption rate per machine hour so our actual overheads incurred are 496000 our over absorbed overheads are 64,000 so it means that our actual overheads absorbed are 560,000 this is what we have absorbed so absorbed overheads are 560,875 now amount absorbed per machine hour is equal to actual overhead absorbed divided by actual machine hours so this is my actual overhead absorbed 560 this is my actual machine hours so actual machine hours they have given us 22,435. So we come back answer is 25 per machine hour. They ask us what was the budgeted overhead absorption rate per machine hour. Let's do question number 8.20. A company absorbs fixed production overheads in one of its departments on the basis of machine hours. There were 100,000 budgeted machine hours for the forthcoming period. The fixed production overhead absorption rate was 2.50 per machine hour. During the period, the following actual results were recorded. Standard machine hours 110,000, fixed production overheads 300,000. What was the fixed production 
overhead under over absorption so under over absorption we need to calculate by actual overheads and absorbed overheads so we calculate how much are absorbed overheads absorbed so actual hours you have following actual results were recorded 110,000 are my actual hours I multiply it with my OAR 2.50 it is 275,000 pay attention that this was your budgeted hours and these are your actual hours because they say actual hours 110,000 so these are my absorbed overheads and then we know how much are our overhead incurred our actual overheads actual overheads are 300,000 so 25,000 is under over absorbed now what it would be will it be under absorbed or over absorbed now you should pay attention that actual overheads are more absorbed overheads are less if absorbed overheads are less it means that it is a case of under absorption the overhead is under absorbed so under absorbed by 25,000 answer would be option D now that's the last question we are going to do uh, it's a, again a little bit long question so I need your attention it says that CTF company has two service centers serving two production departments overhead cost a portion to each department are as follows you've got mixing and stirring department service cost centers stores and canteens if you remember when we were doing the lecture videos there was a lecture video which was very similar to this so if you have watched that video this could, this would be very simple super easy even I don't need to explain but I'm just repeating it again so it's a very simple question it looks long it looks difficult but it is easy question is after the apportionment of the service centers to the production departments what will the total overhead cost be for the mixing department and we have to do reapportionment and we have to do reapportionment using the direct method if you remember in direct method we said that service cost centers they do not charge to each other service service cost centers will only charge to the production department in some given ratio so whatever ratio is given we have to use that and what is the ratio they have given us these are the ratios 50 30 and 45 and 40 we will not they will not charge to each other this 20 percent and 50 percent we don't need it because this 20 percent means that stores will give it 20 percent this 15 percent means that canteen will give it to 15 percent but because we are using direct method we will just ignore these we know that they will not give to each other cost whatever overhead is this 181,000 or 47,000 those will be divided between mixing and stirring on these ratios and that's all so let's do it on the next slide we've got the numbers here you've got production department mixing stirring service stores and canteen and you've got the overheads and first reapportionment or stores department in the ratio 50 30 so this is the uh, store department and this ratio 50 30 was given in the question so this 181,000 it will not go to service center because we are using direct method we will divide it between two how would you do it 5 plus 3 is 8 so this is 5 by 8 this is 3 by 8 so 181,600 multiplied by 5 by 8 and 181,600 multiplied by 3 by 8 so you get over it here and the same goes with reapportionment of canteen cost this 47,200 I have to divide between these two in the ratio of 45 40 45 40 means 45 divided by 85 and then 40 divided by 85 so when you will multiply 47,200 multiplied by 45 divided by 85 you get this answer and then 40 by 85 you get this answer so you've got total overheads 354 888 and 169 112 so mixing department total overhead they asked us the question was what was the total overhead for mixing department answer is 354 triple eight that is your answer so I tried to do some eight or ten questions uh, there are more questions there are all, almost 20 questions there you should do uh, all of them uh, and I'm gonna uh, put some additional questions from SEMA because this topic I know that it needs practice I'm not gonna explain those SEMA questions but I will put them as extra practice you should do it if there is any question just put it in comments